the, the yoga people will always say that you should not go to the gym and the people who go to the gym regularly will tell you to only use yoga as a medium to stretch and not really follow it so much. So when it comes to exercise, it's such a big industry and there are so many forms of fitness that we have available in the market today that everyone is trying to stand against the other. What I would suggest to my audience is to use their discretion and really try to figure out what makes them happy when they are exercising. If you are hitting the gym every day or going out for a run every day but you don't love to do it, you find it very boring, then it's really not going to produce that effect on your body as you would want it to. I want all of you to discover that passion, that form of fitness which you really love to do. Something that would urge you to wake up early morning every day to go and do that form of exercise whether it be swimming or dancing or Zumba or gymming or uh, piloxing, it can be anything, something that you really enjoy to do. That's one thing which is going to keep you motivated for a long time in your life so that you can enjoy long term benefits of fitness. So pursue something which you really enjoy to do because only that form of fitness will create those endorphins and the happy hormones in your brain which will not only allow you to become fit but also help in balancing your entire hormone levels in the body which in turn will ensure that your long term fitness and health is ensured not just your physical but your mental and spiritual health as well. I am a strict vegan girl so the number one go to food on my list would be green gram or the sabot moong dal. Number two on my list would be bottle guard and number three would have to be spinach. I was a huge Popeye fan as a kid when I was growing up so I used to feel like the more spinach I eat the more strong I'll become. So spinach is also one of my favorite foods. I believe that the actual healing power of yoga comes through the power of self-respect and self-love. I would like to explain this through a personal experience of mine. A long time ago when I seriously started pursuing the practice of Ashtang Yoga, there was a time when I was trying to perfect the headstands or the Shirshasan and at times during my practice when I used to step out of Shirshasan back into the Balasan, I used to break into tears. It was extremely surprising, I could never understand why this was happening in the beginning. But later on I realized that the breaking down was actually happening because of an effort to apologize to myself for not having taken good care of myself all this time, for not having really loved myself or not having really respected myself. The one important lesson which yoga taught me personally was the art of self-love, the art of self-respect. Yoga taught me to start loving myself more. It taught me to start taking more care of my own needs and that's where I realized that when my power of self-love increased, my power of self-healing increased at the same time and I realized that most of my minor ailments started disappearing one by one and over a period of time a lot of long-term health benefits can be achieved through the same process of self-love because when you start loving yourself more you start taking care of yourself and it it shows not just in your physical health but in your mental and spiritual health as well you as a person start staying more happy and the people around you in turn start staying more happy. So the more happiness you spread, the more healthy you become. I believe in creating my own path. It's as simple as that. And I don't like anyone dictating my path to me. It's for me to find out. Simple things can help you get there. For example, waking up in the morning and just sitting peacefully in your bed for five minutes relaxing and meditating, thinking about the day ahead of you much before you start checking your iPhones or you start checking your Blackberry or email before connecting with the entire world it's very important to just introspect and connect with your true self so that you can be recharged and ready for your entire day you are more directed, you are more focused towards your goals you know what you have to achieve the entire day and you don't get distracted so easily so it's very important that you connect with yourself right in the morning before starting your day. That's one of the very simple ways through which you can start having a deeper connection with yourself day after day.